Good morning, folks. We've got a major earthquake, new sunspots, a peculiar look at the Milky Way galaxy, and another dark matter search comes up empty. We've got the world of weather as well, but let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star relatively quiet, except for a brightening, crackling area heading right at that Earth scale icon. This is indeed a brand new sunspot group born on the disk. It is still small in its first hours of infancy here, but it does already have a nice tilt and beta class magnetism. We'll be monitoring this one today to see if it decays or develops further. We're seeing calm solar wind, but the departing southern coronal hole stream should arrive here at Earth tonight, likely driving increased geomagnetic effects. Next northern system will be facing Earth directly today. Top quake of the last month was a 7.5 that struck Papua New Guinea yesterday. Damage and casualty reports are still pending, but the landslides came quickly and all oil and gas production has been halted in the region. In terms of seismic alerts, the map active for the region had small, sparse red alerts around the Ring of Fire, but a large yellow alert over the Papa area awaiting low-velocity zone blot echoes for the alert. It struck three hours earlier on the north-south line up in Mariana, activating the large yellow alert exactly 199 minutes before the 7.5 struck. Folks, if you didn't catch our U.S. spring forecast last month, major flood stages are the big concern as we enter the spring, and I must admit, we're way earlier for this than I expected for these floods, was thinking more like April. A terrific article is out on the 3D structure of the Milky Way and the distribution of gas and dust in the spiral arms, but a peculiarity in the side view shows a non-disc-like density profile that does not at all resemble something we'd expect. We'll have to look into this one a bit more. Top Chinese dark matter group looking at Fermi data have released their findings excluding axion-like particles in a considerable range. You may recall these wisps were sought after we surrendered to the cosmos that wimps and axions probably aren't going to be found. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.